tinted serum foundation. I rebuke that energy. Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. As you can tell from the title today, we're gonna to be trying out the L'Oreal True Match Nude Plumping Tinted Serum Foundation. We're gonna see how this looks on my skin and let's just hope for the best. I've heard good things, but then I've, I've seen reviews like on the actual websites and some people really don't like it. So yeah, this one's gonna be an interesting one and I haven't done a foundation review in so long. So yeah, let's do a post notification shout out. Today's post notification shout out is gonna go to Vishnu V Krishnan. So thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. And if you guys wanna get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button and let me know in the comments below when you've done so. Here is a close up of the foundation and I got the shade 67 Tan. 627 Tan. And one thing that's catching my eye is that it says 1% pure hyaluronic acid. It does say on here that the nine shades are super blendable and it has a sheer formula so I think um, one shade can cater to a lot of skin tones because it is blendable maybe that's what I'm thinking. So it's a tinted serum with 1% pure hyaluronic acid, skincare and makeup in one, uh, gives radiance and coverage of a foundation but then it says it's sheer. It's easy to, it's easy to blend for a variety of skin tones, leaving skin with a naturally luminous finish for a flawless nude look. So it says, shake the bottle well, apply two to three drops on your palms and spread lightly. We all know we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do the drop. We're gonna do the drop. So yeah, let's just see how this looks, I guess. I think I got a pretty good shade match, guys. Give it a good shake. Where's me moisturizer? You guys know I've been really into like lighter, more natural looking foundations. So I think this might be something I like. I've been using my Freshly Cosmetics primer every day and it's so good guys. Definitely recommend it. And I'm gonna put a primer because I put primer all the time. I've just put a bunch here. I'm gonna just do one side first. It's so thin, oh my God. And I think the shade match is okay. I'm gonna use a sponge. Mmm, smells nice. It smells really like fresh. Okay, so that's one side done. I'm not gonna lie, it does just make your skin like look more even and just like put together. Cause you can still see my scarring definitely sheer coverage it's very light it's very easy to blend when the coverage is this sheer like sometimes I feel like when it comes to longevity it's it, it just struggles in that department so we'll see how this holds throughout the day but so far it's okay should we try one more like layer yeah. almost dropped my mirror I do not want bad luck okay please I rebuke that energy. Yeah, I'm not mad at it, guys. It looks pretty good. I really like how easy it is to blend. I'm seeing a little bit of oxidization. Do you know what? This has made my skin look really nice, actually. Ew, I really like this. Okay, let me finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. This is what my face is looking like. Um, Guys, I'm quite shocked. Like, this is really nice and it's covered up my skin okay. Like, there's no ashiness. I can still see a bit of my skin. So I would say light to medium coverage if you do want to build up. It's not full, but it gives a decent coverage. It's giving me nice tinted moisturizer vibes. Like, I really like that tinted moisturizer because it does give a bit of coverage and this is what it's giving me. I like that it has skincare. I love hyaluronic acid. I literally wear it every day. My favorite one is the Huda Beauty Thirst Trap. Been loving that or even like the ordinary one. It's really good. But yeah, I really like my makeup. Like I would happily go out like this. It's very natural. It's very me. I, I don't, it's not heavy. It definitely has a bit of a glow to it. It's just about... 8 a.m. So we're gonna wear this out for the rest of the day. Gotta run errands. And yeah, we're gonna see how this looks at the end of the day. But right now, it looks pretty flawless. Like, I really like it. I tried to do these braid thingies. I don't know if I like it, but it's all right. <laughs> this is what the skin's looking like. I've put the brightness down so you guys can really see. 
all right guys i'm back it's now 4 20 p.m um i'm gonna try and upload this today so i'm cutting it a bit short but i've been wearing this foundation for a good few hours and it's holding up pretty well like it honestly hasn't even budged and i'm quite surprised that like it it stayed pretty matte because i don't set it everywhere on my face and it stayed pretty matte guys it just has a little bit of a glow to it but not like a wet glow no smile lines it's pretty flawless it's very skin like i don't really have anything bad to say apart from the shade range because i have a hard time believing that these are adjustable to every like like different skin tones um like for example the one above i could not wear it was way too warm and the one below was too light this is i'm lucky that this is quite perfect for me but yeah i'm i just wish they had more shades because i don't think that these are I mean, unless you put like a light layer, I don't know. I'm just a bit iffy with the shade range. And I know what they mean. Like, you know how tinted moisturizers, there's always less shades and tinted moisturizer because you can just like, it can adapt to more like skin tones. Maybe this can, but I, I feel like it does have a bit of coverage to it. And if, when you start going to more coverage, it's difficult, it's more difficult to adjust, you know? Um, that's the only thing I would say, to be honest. It's 30 99 It's quite affordable. You get 30 mil. Guys, my face is good. And like with a mask, this is really good. You get a little bit of transfer, but it stays put and it's matte. It doesn't transfer, which I thought it would because, you know, I just think serum, I think wet, I think glowy, but it's just more on the matte side. So I feel like this would really suit all skin, skin types because I have really dry skin and this hasn't made me dry. Another thing to note is that you have to be careful what you pair this with because I've noticed this when I used to work on Bobbi Brown, they used to have a serum foundation. And when the serum foundation was put on certain types of skincare, it would peel, like if you rub it would peel. And I was getting a bit of that on my chin. So you just have to like kind of test the waters with what skincare you put underneath. But I, for some reason it only happens like here. So that it was peeling a little bit there. Guys, I'm pretty happy. I think I would give this foundation a solid 8 out of 10. I feel like I've got more wear out of this foundation. I feel like I could go out with this base. Here's just a close up of what my skin looks like. Guys, it stayed intact. So yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Let me know what you would like me to review next. And uh, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button because it really helps your girl out. Hit that like button as well. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.